Hello guys, this is George Committee and you are watching George Committee YouTube e-learning channel and today we are going to analyze uh, what we call portal frames and we are going to learn how we plot uh, bending moment diagrams for portal frames but first of all we need to we need to know what a portal frame is or what portal frames are now and a portal frame is a structure consisting of a beam resting over two columns and remember beams are horizontal uh, structural members whereas columns are the vertical structural members the junction of the beam and the column behaves like a rigid joint for example when you look uh, at our figure one we have a portal frame the, we have a beam supported uh, on Supported by two columns, we got a column AB and we got a column CD. So the junction of the beam and the column, that is uh, the junction at B as well as the junction at C, they usually behave like rigid joints. And you know very well that if we are talking about uh, metallic uh, portal frames, then the joints B and C are usually welded. That is the beam is usually welded on the two supporting columns. Now, in general, portal frames are of the following two types. One, we have what we call symmetrical portal frames, and two, we got what we call unsymmetrical portal frames. Now, starting with the symmetrical portal frames, which we are going to uh, analyze first, and then later on. We are going to analyze the asymmetrical portal frames. Now, asymmetrical portal frame is the one in which both the columns are of the same length. For example, when you look at our figure one, you will find that the column AB as well as the column DC are, have got same lengths. That is, they got a height of four meters each. They have similar end conditions that is either hinged or fixed. For example, on our figure one, our portal frame, the column AB is fixed at A and the column DC is fixed at D as well. So the two columns must have the same uh, end conditions. And in this case, uh, our end conditions are that the, the ends A and D are fixed. Uh, they also have uh, the same moments of inertia. Likewise, on our portal frame figure one, the column AB have got a moment of inertia of I as well as the column DC. They also have a similar modulus of elasticity as well as they are subjected to symmetrical loading. When you talk about uh, symmetrical loading, uh, we mean that the column AB and the column DC will be carrying equal amount of loads for example on our figure one we have a a beam bc that is loaded with a uniformly distributed load of two kilonewtons per meter when you convert that uh, udl to point load we are going to multiply by the span bc which is six meters that's going to give us 12 meters each of those columns will carry half of the total load uh, that is subjected on the beam BC and therefore the column A as well as the, uh, the column AB as well as the column DC will be carrying a uh, loads equivalent to six kilonewtons each and that means that their reactions are also going to be similar that is reaction at A as well as reaction at D we are going to have six kilonewtons each now, the joints of uh, such a portal frame will not be subjected to any translation or side sway. The reason being the joints, uh, for example, joint B and C, they are welded together and the columns are subjected or are carrying equal amount of loads. So we are not going to have unbalanced loads, which will make either of, uh, which will make the portal frame to sway or to be translated in either sides. Now, all the single bay and the single story symmetrical portal frames may be analyzed by opening them out and treating them exactly like a three span continuous beam. Now, on our figure two, we, 
we have a free body uh, diagram of the portal frame that has been opened up for analysis and when we are in, uh, analyzing analyzing it we usually treat it as a three span continuous beam and an example of a three span continuous beam is the beam we have on the right hand side that is figure three we have a three span continuous beam uh, that is fixed on uh, end a as well as s and d that is describing our proto frame on figure one then on uh, joint B, B and C, it is simply supported. We have the three spans L1, L2, as well as L3. So you can remember uh, when we were analyzing simple frames using the moment distribution method, we were treating the frame as a three span continuous beam. Uh, again, if you revisit the videos we did. Uh, just recently on uh, application of the three moment theorem or the equation of three moments you will find uh, videos on how we usually plot the bmd as well as the sfd for continuous beams like the one we have on figure three so on uh, the on figure two we have that free body uh, diagram that has been opened up for the sake of analysis so we must open the portal frame up uh, so that we are able to analyze it and eventually we are going to plot the bending moment diagram so on that uh, figure two we have the span a b and when you look on our right hand side the span a b we have the fixed end moment at a as well as the fixed end moment at b fixed end moment at a is uh, a clockwise moment, fixed end moment at B, anti-clockwise moment. Uh, likewise, on span B, C, we got fixed end moment at B as well as fixed end moment at C. At B, we have anti-clockwise moment. At C, we got a clockwise moment. Good. When you go to um, the span C to D, we got the fixed end moment at C as well as the fixed end moment at D. So ladies and gentlemen, that's what we shall be analyzing in this uh, topic of portal frames. And we are going to begin with analyzing symmetrical portal frames. And then eventually we are going to cover the unsymmetrical portal frames. Awesome. So ladies and gentlemen, engineers whatever you are please if you are here and you are not yet a subscriber of this channel please consider hitting that subscription button as well as the notification bell give us likes comment and share our video thank you very much till we meet again in yet another episode